Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about tag name locator in Selenium. Before proceeding to this video, I want you guys to make sure that you guys have seen my locators video, ID locator video, name locator video, link text and partial link text locator video, and then come to this video because understanding this topic will be easy if you guys have seen my at least locators video and some of the locators video that is partial link text and link text locators video id locator video and name locator video guys as you have seen already in my locator video that locators are of eight types and we know that locator is used to inspect the element and once you have inspected it you will perform some action on it what action you guys know that either either clicking on it or either writing something on it or either in drop down selecting something that you want you know that in your automation script using selenium java when you write it you just write the code and then it only automate each and everything it only perform each and everything you don't do it manually now because you do it manually while writing the code but once you've written the code it will execute itself automatically and you also know that locators are used to inspect the element and then after inspecting it you will perform some action see you, now my mobile is here but how can i touch it I will I can touch it by coming to this location and then touching it I cannot touch it in this location or I cannot touch it in this location I need to come to this location only to touch it and this is why locator has come into the picture because locators allow me to go to the element I'm in this particular place locator is allowing me to come to the element now my element is mobile and locator is allowing me to come to the mobile and now when you have come to the point you can perform the action that you would love to my action is that i need to click on it or maybe i need to take it anything so locator allow you to inspect the element and then you can perform some action guys understanding each and every type of locator is important because there are some cases where you cannot inspect the element using partial link text or link text you cannot inspect the element using id you cannot inspect the element using using name locator and that's why the main motive of knowing all eight type of locator has come into the picture because if you visit any kind of website there will be a point where you need to write your automation script by using all eight types of locator that you have so let's get started to talk about what exactly is tag name locator guys if you see my this uh, web page which i have written it in my local system and just try to inspect it now you can see that this input tag right this input tag is nothing but your tag name this input right this input what input is written right that is nothing but your tag name now let's try to inspect another element let's say let's try to inspect this particular uh, radio button if you see here tag name is nothing but this input now wherever you see any element that is composed of before that there will be tag name if you want to understand deeply into what is tag name and all i have written this html code for my reference where i try to create anything that i would love to it may be link text maybe a link it will it may be a radio button or it may be anything i can create everything from here guys if you're not understanding much about what i'm talking today you don't have to worry because i'm going to upload a single video where i will be talking about html basics which which any automation engineer should know about it for now you just understand that any element any web element that is composed of it is composed of some tag name in it if you see this text field that is username text field it is composed of this input tag name if you see this password text field it is composed of this input tag name if you see this link text that is my youtube that is my youtube link it is composed of this a tag name like that now let's suppose that you want to perform action on this particular that this username text field you want to perform some action on this username text field and how you want to perform action that is you want to perform your action using tag name that is this input is nothing but your tag name now you want to inspect your username text field using this tag name that is input now what is the action that you want to or doing that maybe you want to write something in it because it is a text field what you will write you will write the username now let's start to launch this particular url and then inspecting this username text field using this input tag and then writing the username now if you see my automation script i have created a class and then i have written this statement where i am launching a particular browser that is chrome browser 
and then using manish.get i am launching the url this url is nothing but the url that i have created in my desktop which is my this learning html and since this uh, learning html is located in this place that is inside my c folder users manish1 user desktop learning html file is present that is the reason i am writing manish.get the whole url now you what do you want to do you want to inspect your username text field using tag name called as input so you need to inspect your element using by tag name this is your tag name and now you need to pass the tag name value you know the tag name value as input and then click if not click maybe you want to write the username maybe my username i would li like to type is my mkt and then i will run this if you run this you could see that it has launched my url that is c manish1 desktop learning html dot html file and then it has inspected my username text field using my tag name called as input and then using send keys it has typed mkt in the username text field so using tag name locator you can inspect any tag that you wanted and you can perform action on it understanding of tag name is very important because there will be a cases because when you visit multiple website when you try to automate multiple website you will come to a situation where inspecting using id inspecting using name will not be possible and you have to inspect it using tag name now if you see one more example here if you inspect this my youtube you could see that it is made up of a a tag name here my tag is nothing but a now my intention is to inspect this my youtube using tag name that is a tag and then clicking on it now i will try to inspect by tag name and my tag name is nothing but a and then i'm i want to perform click on it now if if i run this automation script you could see that it is launching a chrome browser then it has launched my url and then it has clicked on my youtube channel link that is my youtube channel link it has launched it has clicked on it after inspecting it using tag name and the tag name was a if you see this automation script so i wrote it using tag name called as tag name a so and then i clicked on it and that worked for me so that's all from this video guys i hope this video was useful if yes give a big thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with any friends in case you have any kind of doubt list out all your doubt in the comment section if you want to reach to me out i have added my quora account twitter account gmail account telegram account all my social media account in the link description please check it out contact me anywhere i will definitely reply to you in case you want the program that i have written in my system that is this program you can let me know in the comment section with your mail id and i will be forwarding this whole program directly to your mail id thank you guys see you in the next video